it's the issue between individuation and ego. And I think your question implies a confusion of the two. I mean, we we glory in the in our individuality, our uniqueness, our our specialness. Uh, but the ego is something else. The ego is something which seeks to actually empower itself at the expense of other people. And so, you know, there has to be a trade-off. I think the glory of Western civilization is our empowering of our uniqueness, the unique artistic vision, the unique scientific vision. The appalling thing about Western civilization is how we have... uh, you know, taken the worst aspects of, of dominator society and institutionalized it and then passed laws which make it almost impossible to overturn it. Uh, so I'm not preaching any form of anthill, fascist or communist or otherwise, but I do think, you know, that we over-identify our, ourselves with things We over-identify our happiness with objects. One of the great things about psychedelics that is so corrosive to capitalistic values is that psychedelics show you that the best stuff is in your own head. You know, better than walking down Madison Avenue looking in the windows is sitting in your shabby apartment on six dried grams looking in the windows. You know, obviously the world arrives at the surface of your skin as one thing and then it it enters into uh, channels, perceptual channels of distinction. The eyes bring you some data, the ears bring you data, and the, uh, and the idea is that within the brain all these channels are supposed to be recombined to give you the original input. Uh, and apparently this is culturally, a culturally defined undertaking. In other words, when you think, you think you're thinking the way people have always thought. <laughs> But in fact, how people think is very much dependent on uh, media and informational biases in the society in which they were raised. I believe most Western people hear themselves think. In other words, they hear the equivalent of a, a voice speaking in their head and it speaks their thoughts. When you smoke halfway decent pot or take psychedelics or something like that, you become aware that the processing of incoming audio data shifts slightly toward the visual. And you, you, you see what people mean. Or their speech seems more colorful. It seems to convey more. And I think whether we process incoming speech by the ear or by the eye internally is a cultural uh, piece of cultural conditioning. And that, in fact, we are in the act of changing over. That, you know, this generation of young people who are always dissed as illiterate are, in fact, print illiterate. But they know more about electronic literacy than the people who are knocking them. 